G'day, it's Joe here. This is a little bonus. Now, if you remember in the previous text tutorial, I um, chose a particularly curved font. And um, after, in hindsight, I've been looking at that, I'm thinking, yeah, it's not really the font I want. So what I'm going to do here is I've turned off using the layer commands. I've hidden everything other than where these where this font sits. And then I've gone through and I have selected all of the fonts. So that is all ready to have a change properties command executed on it. I'm going to right click, I'm going to go do it. And then the first thing we're going to do is make sure that I make sure everything comes to the right layers. So all the text will be in the right layers. That's what I want. And then I'm going to change my text properties. And I'm going to go for a more neutral looking font. Let's try Hobo. Okay, so this one is a little bit more reminiscent to me of the fonts that were used in products such as um, oh, the lovely Chaos and um, RuneQuest, which is pretty much right for what I want for this map. So um, I'm just going to zoom out from that, make sure it's all looking fine. And then I'm going to turn on everything again, show all. Uh, we probably need would need to do a little bit of manipulation of this map. Oh, by showing all, I've also put on all of my, I'm going to hide my grid lines, the hex grid lines. There we go. So I would now need to realign some of these pieces of text so that they don't sit over the top. But basically, you can see it's relatively easy. Even if you choose a font that you don't like, uh, in hindsight, you can come back and modify this by using the change property tool, selecting all the text that you want, and then changing those text properties. Hope that's helpful for you. See you on the next tutorial.